hello friends in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import excel file in SQL server step by step this is the excel file and these are the column in the excel file I will upload the I'll import this excel file into SQL server this is the SQL server and the database is my test DB now there is no table in this database I'd like to import excel file in in this database so right click on the database we then click on task and click on import data click on next and select the data source data source is Microsoft Excel okay browse the file my file is located in the D drive so go to the D drive and select the file file is folly B and uh, click on next this is the error message the microsoft s oledb 12.0 provider is not registered in the local machine it's because 64-bit office program is installed in your pc so let's check the office yes run the excel file and then click on file menu click on account and click on about excel okay so that this is the 64-bit office program installed in this piece in this PC okay so let's go to the different computer yes now this is the Excel file just open and go to the file menu click on account again and click on about Excel yes in this PC uh, it's installed 32 bit office program so go to the SQL server now right click on master data DB click on task click on import data and click on next select the data source select Microsoft Excel select the file file path file is in the D drive file name is folly b open yes now click on next and select the destination destination is microsoft oled provider for sql server select the authentication authentication is sql server authentication username is sa and password is your sql server authentication password click on next and uh, select the coffee data from one or more, more table click on next and select the sheet sheet name is sheet one the table name will be as same as sheet one with dollar sign click on finish okay it's finished close this window and replace the table folder right click replace yes the sheet one uh, is added let's check the records in the database table sheet one and check it with the excel file yes it's uploaded it's imported successfully in the sql server thanks for watching this tutorial